Hey guys, I'm back again with my low picks video for the month of June. If you do not know, I'm doing a makeup low buy for the year of 2015 where I'm allowed to purchase two products a month of makeup. I don't limit my bath and body, skincare, hair care, nail polish, fragrance purchases because I'm pretty, um, like I'm pretty good with those. I don't really over buy those. I have plenty. I don't need to buy any more. But if occasionally I want a new body lotion or a new nail polish, I'm not going to limit myself. And I have shown you those over the course of the year in hauls as well. So you have been seeing everything I've been purchasing. So this month, I've only picked up one thing. One thing. So I'll show you what I got, but I did get a lot of free goodies. So I'll show you those as well. So the item I ended up getting was from Becca. It's the Mineral Blush in Wild Honey, which I have been talking about for a while. And I told y'all I was going to pick up when summer hit because I think it's a really good summer blush. I have to say, I don't know. I think I may be like oversaturated with makeup right now because it was, it just wasn't as amazing to me as I've been hoping it would be. It is really pretty. Don't get me wrong. That's what it looks like. Excuse me. I'm going to show you NARS Madly, which I've been obsessed with pretty much this whole spring and summer. And this is them compared to each other. And the Becca blush is so soft that when you put your brush in it, it kicks up all kinds of powder. And Madly isn't like that. And maybe that's kind of the deal with the wild honey. So, mm, I think I need to give it a few more chances before I can say whether I absolutely love this or if I don't want it anymore. But it was a real letdown. It's just this madly has been so crazy good. I've loved it so much this for the past few months that it's just really hard for me to beat anything like that. And I'm not one of those that like gets stuck on a product and wears only that because I'm constantly wanting to change. But that's like all I've worn so far. I mean, that's like pretty much all I wear anymore is madly. Okay. So, when I placed my order on Ulta.com, because I do not go into my store. It is, it's garbage. They had some kind of promo. If you spent 40 it's like a summer kit. And I had, um, I placed an order with somebody else. We had actually gone in together so we could do free shipping. And I was able to keep this stuff in the summer kit. I'll show you what I got. First off, this was Manuka Secrets Lip Luster in Pacific Paradise. And it's New Zealand Manuka Honey. And I guess Pacific Paradise was the color of this lip luster. And I thought, oh man, that's neat. But it tasted awful. It tasted like sunscreen. You know how sunscreen and your lip products can taste? This tasted so bad. It was just kind of the color of honey. I was really disappointed in this because I was really hoping it would be nice stuff. So I'm going to see if my mom would like that. And if she doesn't like it, it will not hurt my feelings. Um, my samples were a Matrix Biolodge shampoo and conditioner and a full sample of the Benefit Professional. And then also in the sun kit, I got a Tarte Brazilians face towelette. A Tarte Brazilian Skin Rejuvenating Maracuja Self Tanner, a Mini Saint Tropez Saint One Hour Tan Advanced Bronzing Mousse, which I've been curious about trying. Not that I'm like crazy into self tanner because I'm kind of lazy with that. This is a Cargo Swimmables Eye Pencil in Gold, which is more like a bronzy gold. So that's nice. I don't need eyeliners, but I love them. And I'm a sucker for these kind of colors. A mini hips, fresh coconut and watermelon sugar body scrub, which smells amazing. It smells really good. I may pick up the lotion in this scent. It smells so nice. And then this is a fake bake, fake bake travel size Luxurious Golden Bronze Flawless Self Tan Liquid and Professional Mitt. When I saw this box, I thought it was a full size. I've never tried the Fake Bake Sunless Tanner, so I'm excited to. And it comes with 
gloves, a mitt, and that's the self-tanner. So I'm excited to try it. Now that I have a bunch of new self-tanners, I have no excuse. I'm kind of lazy with it. It's just, it's just a lot of maintenance. And I'm not, I don't know. I don't, I don't mind my natural color, so I usually embrace it. Okay. And then Sephora had some new point perks at the beginning of June. And since I do, I am the B.I.B. Rouge, which I will not be next year, obviously. Sometimes I do take advantage and I purchased, this is my secret. It's the hair tie. It's for a dollar. And I picked up three of the point perks. The first one was the Fresh Rose Face Mask with Soothing Rose Petals, Hydrates, and Tones. I had a sample of this and I really enjoyed it in one of my sample Sunday videos. So I decided I would get this. That is what it looks like in case you care. Because honestly, most masks, it's like, by the time I do them a few times, I'm sick of them. So I thought it was nice. And then this was so exciting. This is why I placed the order. The Tarte Tarte Guard 30 SPF Sunscreen Lotion. I had one of these samples in Sample Sunday and I liked it so much. But I was like, I don't need to buy a sunscreen right now. I have a few more. So I was excited to get this. It is super tiny, but I'm excited. And then this was just kind of a spur of the moment. The NARS Lip Gloss and Orgasm. I just thought it would be a really nice color to keep in your purse for the summer. It's that peachy pink with the gold shimmer throughout. So I was excited to get that. So that is all my stuff. Like I said, the only thing I actually paid for was the Becca Wild Honey and the dollar hair tie. So I don't know what I'm going to pick up. Um, today is the 27th, just to let you know. I'm pretty sure. 28th, sorry. So there's only two days left in the month. Um, so I may not pick anything up this month. I may just pick up three things in July or not because I did go over one month, but I ended up taking it back. I don't remember. Oh, and also, I, can't, I feel kind of bad. Last month, I had mentioned a few things for Mother's Day. The Chanel Cream Eyeshadow Sticks. I returned the rose one and the brown one in Crew Bay. I'm going to return as well. I just didn't like them. I didn't like them at all. So, that is that. So, those were actually gifts, but I am returning them. And I'm not getting accredited or anything. So, but, so I'm actually, I'm making pretty good strides with my makeup collection. I'm still decluttering. I'm still using up stuff. Um, stuff like that. So, I'm pretty pleased. Pretty, pretty pleased. So, if you're on a lab, low buy or whatever, and you've picked up anything new, tell me down below. It's exciting to always hear about people's new purchases. I will let you guys go, and see you later. Bye.